Um, Dory just reminded me to um, ask that if everybody could just put their card in the picture that's going around so we can know who's attending this evening to make sure that we, uh, we get everybody on the invite list next time. So this evening we have Seth Green, um, who will be doing our presentation. Seth is a nationally recognized marketing expert. He has written about he's written about in three best-selling books, the number one trade journal in two different industries, and numerous other publications. The marketing firm he started six years ago has grown to 31 employees who represent everyone from bit, from individual small business owners to Fortune 500 companies like Home Depot, MetLife, and ADP. His claim to fame is that his firm will double your sales in 12 months or give your money back, guaranteed. In six years and thousands of clients, he, they've never had to refund a check. <clears throat> he gets flown all over the country to share his innovative, guaranteed marketing ideas, and tonight we are very fortunate to have him here to share how to use social media to actually get more customers and clients for our businesses. Please put your hands together and help me welcome Seth Green. Thank you very much. I'm going to try and sneak past everybody and go down here next to the actual screen. Sorry to make everybody turn. I'll be presenting Frank tonight. So quick disclaimer before we get started. Um, normally when I'm the keynote speaker at a conference, this presentation goes for an hour and a half. I've got about 20 minutes, so I'm going to talk really fast. However, if you, I'm, we're videotaping this, and if you'd like a copy of the video so you can watch it at your leisure and take more better notes, let me know. I'd be happy to get you a copy of the video. So we're here to talk about how to use social media to actually get new customers or clients for your business. Quick show of hands. How many people here have at least one social media account for their business? Okay. Um, how many people here have actually heard of social media? Okay, how many people are going to refuse to raise their hand no matter what question I ask? Thank you, a couple honest people appreciate that. Okay, so there are two different types of marketing. One we do, one we don't. Um, the type you're probably all familiar with is brand building, getting your name out there. So um, it's funny, I use Bill Matar as an example in this presentation around the country and he's actually here. So Bill, I apologize in advance. So my, I have a five-year-old son, a three-year-old daughter, and a three-week-old daughter. Yes, full house. Um, my wife stays home with them, and the other day, one of our neighbors was over to meet the baby. And she's chit-chatting with my wife, and I'm trying not to pay attention to everything, all the girl talk. No offense. And she says to my wife, oh, I'm a mess. My brother was just in a car accident. My five-year-old son, suddenly who was playing a video game on the Wii, perks up and says, hurt in a car, call William Matar. <laughs> so brand building works. <laughs> However, there are a number of folks here who don't have as much money as William Matar. <laughs> so we do, that's not the type of marketing we do, we do direct response marketing, which means instead of putting your television commercial in front of two million people, forgive me on the numbers, Bill, and hoping to reach the 200 who just got hit by a car, we just go after the 200 who just got hit by a car. So direct to those people, spend a whole lot less money. Does that make sense? Okay, so why should you listen to me other than the fabulous bio that I had Elizabeth read? Um, anyone here seen the movie Boiler Room? A couple of people, okay. So that's how I started. Um, I was a 22 year old stockbroker. I made 300 cold calls a day, interrupting you during dinner and asked you for money. It wasn't very pleasant. Um, however, something changed. I had the good fortune to um, find the number one marketing coach on the planet, a guy by the name of Dan Kennedy, who has 13 best-selling books on the topic. And he told me everything I was doing was wrong. And if I listened to him and wrote him a really big check, he would change my life. So I went home to my wife and I said, Honey, I know you just quit your job to stay home with the kids, our first child, um, and I'm now supporting all of us but I need to go borrow more than our mortgage to hire this guy. And she said, are you crazy? <laughs> no. So I said, bummer. The next night I came home and said, honey, 
I need to borrow several hundred thousand dollars to go hire Dan Kennedy so he can change our life. And she said, no. So after 30 days of me asking in a row, she said okay to shut me up and said you better pray this works. So, that's my wife Rebecca. This is Dan Kennedy writing his No BS Bowl, which is his brand. Um, and three of my favorites of his 13 best-selling books on marketing, which I highly recommend, even though I don't get paid for saying that. So I hired Dan and increased my sales 1,488%. 400% in the first two years, which was unheard of in the financial services industry at the time. And he said, you need to go teach other people how to do this, which spun off the marketing company I'm here for tonight that started six years ago, because it's a heck of a lot more fun than interrupting strangers and worrying about the stock market, which today causes a lot of stress. So that got me written about the three best-selling books on marketing. I also don't get paid to recommend those, but they're really, really good because I'm in them. Um, the Connectors, Using Other People's Money to Get Rich, and, and The Clients Went Wild. So we're here to talk about social media and how to use it to get customers for your business. So I'm going to try and skip all of the tech jargon and use an example everybody can understand. Donuts. Has everyone here had a donut at one point in their life? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So hopefully you'll get the example. Uh, how many people here are on Twitter for their business? Okay. So Twitter, for those of you who don't know, is basically text messaging on steroids. So right now my wife texts me. She says, pick up milk and bread on the way home. She can text everyone in our neighborhood, all of her friends, and say, let's have a block party. But in order for her to text message 4,000 people, she'd have to be on her phone for a very, very long period of time. With Twitter, you get 140 characters, basically a text message, and you can push that out to all of your followers in one shot. So you can text message 4,000 people in one time. Make sense? Yeah, say yes. Okay, good answer. So what could I say in 140 characters? Well, I could say, I'm eating a donut. My donut example. So I actually unfriend people on Twitter because there are these people on Twitter who post literally that they're eating a donut all day long. I had a guy who posted 12 times a day and it was every hour, this is the music I'm listening to, I'm going to the kitchen now, I'm making myself a sandwich now and I said, I'm not that interested in your life. Facebook, how many people here are on Facebook? Almost everybody, great. So on Facebook, <laughs> donuts. I like donuts. You go on Facebook and you tell the world what you like or don't like. When you build your Facebook profile or your fan page, you tell Facebook as much or as little information as you want about you. Facebook knows how old you are, if you're married or single, what kind of music you listen to, what kind of entertainment you go to, etc. etc. What you if you're a fan of the Alzheimer's Association, etc. Is a father that lack of privacy scares the crap out scares me. Is a marketer, I live on it. Because you can buy anything on anybody very cheaply. So if you wanted to get your marketing message in front of 36 year old stay at moms with three kids in Williamsville, you can do that. And surprisingly enough, there are always ads in front of my wife's Facebook profile for Toys R Us and Babies R Us. Honey, I got another coupon. Isn't this cool? I placed that ad for Toys R Us. It's very cool. Foursquare. How many people here know what Foursquare is? A lot fewer people. So Foursquare, I have a Foursquare app on my iPhone. I go check in at Pizza Plant. And when I check in, it posts on my Facebook wall in front of all my friends that I'm at Pizza Plant. Now Bob wants me to do that because then all of my friends see that I go to Pizza Plant and they should go too. Word of mouth marketing, what social media is supposed to be. And why I go post for Bob on Foursquare is because he gives me a free appetizer for posting, hypothetically. He bribes me, I go tell all my friends how fabulous it is, he gets more business, everybody wins. Make sense? So on Foursquare, Esther here goes, well she's not really on Foursquare, but she says this is where I go to eat my donuts. Make sense? Okay, YouTube, world's largest video distribution engine. Over 300 million people go to YouTube every single day. And on YouTube, more content is created in one day than every major television network combined created five years ago. That's a lot of content. Surprisingly enough, the majority of YouTube videos are not people eating donuts or stupid cat tricks. They're watching how-to videos, learning about your business. How do I pick a personal injury lawyer? How do I pick a florist? 
how do I learn to lower my golf score? So perhaps they could go learn about you. Anyone here answer the same questions every day for different customers? Repeat yourself, yes. Um, who are you, what do you do, how long have you been in business, why should I go with you, why should I let you list my house? You could put that all on YouTube, have them watch it ahead of time and no longer repeat yourself. and save a whole bunch of time. So this is a video of me eating a donut. My donut, the jokes aren't gonna get any better, by the way, I apologize. <laughs> Remember, I'm a marketer, not a stand-up comedian. Okay, LinkedIn, how many people here on LinkedIn? LinkedIn is the business social network, B2B. Sales professionals, people put their resumes on LinkedIn. Business owners have their business pages and their business resumes on LinkedIn. Uh, so if you are looking for business to business marketing, if you're a financial planner and you want to talk to business owners about running their 401k, those business owners aren't likely on Facebook, they're on LinkedIn. Make sense? If you are a personal injury lawyer and you get referrals from other attorneys, those attorneys are on LinkedIn. So how in the world am I going to tie LinkedIn to donuts? If I put my resume on LinkedIn, I get to show my cool fire truck. Um, my skills include donut eating. I said the jokes didn't get it. Okay, how many people here are on Pinterest? Okay, so notice that the, if you paid attention to whose hands went up, it skews affluent women. 70% of Pinterest users are affluent suburban women. Because Pinterest is a virtual bulletin board. You're remodeling your house, your wife has pictures all over on a bulletin board in your office that shows, here's the paint colors I like, here's the new furniture I want. She's pinning them up. Pinterest, you do it online. Pinterest is the number one driver of retail web traffic this year. Bigger than Facebook, Google, and YouTube combined. Because every image that my wife pins up there is clickable linked back to the site where she got it from. So if my son's Christmas list is on Pinterest and I go click on the Skylanders picture, it's a video game, it takes me to Toys R Us where I can go buy it. See the connection? Every image drives back to your website. So even if affluent suburban women aren't your clients, you still want to have pictures of golf swings and golf videos and golf balls because it'll drive traffic to your website. Make sense? Yes. So, here's a picture of a donut recipe, because I'm pinning recipes. Um, there are a lot of people, all of my wife's friends seem to pin up the recipe and then they pin up a picture of the food they made. Now, if Paula Dean were smart, she'd have them driving back to her website to buy her stuff. Okay, so, how many people have ever been on social media and feel like it was a waste of time or money? It's okay, you can be honest, a few. Because the problem is you need a way to capture your customer's contact information and automatically follow up with them to drive them to hire you or buy your service. So my firm created one of the only ways to do that nationwide. It is a Facebook app or application that captures their contact information and automatically follows up with that. So in this case, this is help for seniors of Western New York. He takes my mother to the doctor when I'm working. When I'm gonna put her in a nursing home, he helps me pick what nursing home to send her to. So in this case, you have to like his page in order to get access to his free video series about how to take care of mom better without going nuts. Then you watch a video of him saying, here's my video series, give me your name, email, and cell phone. You hit submit, and my software sends you emails and text messages, getting you to watch the videos, getting you to hire him. So lead capture and automated multimedia follow-up inside of Facebook or wherever else you want to put it. So all of a sudden that person on your wall isn't just a number. I have 423 fans, but I haven't made any money. Now you've got their contact information and can sell them stuff, which is the whole point of social media. Makes sense. So this is his follow-up sequence of text messages, voicemails, emails, all of these messages designed to get that person to learn more about him and then hire him. So how do you get people to do all of that? Remember I talked about my putting ads in front of my wife for Toys R Us and Babies R Us? That's called Facebook Pay Per Click. Go on your Facebook page at home, on your computer, not your smartphone, your computer, and see what ads show up on the right hand side. If those marketers did a good job, they'll be really targeted to who you are. I, for example, on my profile get ads about internet marketing and conferences to go to. 
and perhaps the sports car I want to buy. My wife gets stuff about baby products, kids products, kids games, kids clothes, baby gap, all that good stuff. So again, I can buy all that information. For help for seniors, his ideal customer is a 45 to 60 year old professional woman in Williamsville who's a fan of the Alzheimer's Association because her mom is starting to lose it. I can place an ad in exactly front of only those people, of which there are only a couple thousand in Western New York. So it costs him a whole lot less money. The other beauty of this, if I see it and do nothing, it's free. Free branding. It only costs you money if somebody clicks on it and goes to your site. The rest of the time it's free. Because Buffalo is, no offense, a few years behind in terms of technology, the clicks on these are really cheap. I've got clients who are getting clicks for five, 20 cents, 30 cents, a dollar. I'm gonna use Bill as an example here. The most expensive click in the country is on mesothelioma, asbestos-related lung cancer. And it's a minimum of $100 a click to get someone for mesothelioma because the personal injury lawyers have bid it up so high because they want people who've got mesothelioma to be in their class action lawsuit against the asbestos company. Make sense? So it's geo-targeted. If you're a local business, we're the Blaisdell Business Association, so theoretically we're all local, you can say, I only want my ads to show in 14221, 14051, 14031, 10 mile radius from my store. No one else will see it. Only the people you pick. You pick the psychographics. So you pick stay at home mom, 36 years old, who likes the Fresh Meat Band. If you don't have little kids, you won't know what some of that is, but that's okay. Um, you can advertise in front of your existing fans if you've got fans. Why would you want to advertise in front of your customers? get them to come back and buy more flowers. So you have 500 fans, how would you like to show up in front of them for free unless they want more flowers? It's free branding. Um, how would you like to show up in front of all of your friend, fans' friends where it says, Rebecca Green likes this, you should too. Implied referral, implied testimonial, word of mouth marketing, which is what social media is supposed to do. Now a little disclaimer, social media is not new. Cavemen drew on each other's walls. So this is just putting it on your computer. And you only pay for interested person. Again, if nobody clicks on your ads and get no results, it's free. Bill, if you went to channel two and said, I want to run ads around the clock about my law firm, but I'm only going to pay you if people call me, would they take your check? They don't like doing that. They don't like doing that, right. If you go advertise in the Buffalo News, they charge you based on circulation. How many people hypothetically are gonna see your newspaper? If you said, I'll pay if I get results, otherwise you get no money, they would go out of business tomorrow. That's how Facebook and Google and LinkedIn all live, is on the ad revenue of people clicking. If people stop clicking, they're out of business. They're basically ad agencies. Facebook exists not as a social network, but to sell ad revenue. That's their only source of revenue is those little ads. Same with Google, it's not a search engine, it's an ad agency. So I'm gonna give you an example of how one of the other ways that we're different from other marketing firms you may work with. Most online firms will tell you about search engine optimization. Everybody heard of that? Yes. Which is we wanna get you on the first page of Google. Because 86% of traffic goes to page one. If you did a search this morning, did you even bother going to page two? I doubt it. Instead of search engine optimization, we practice search engine domination. So why would you want to be on page one and have one listing with 10 other competitors? So if you go Google one of the keywords for what we do, it's called automated perpetual marketing funnel. And you Google it, you will find we are first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, seventh, and eighth. We own the entire first page. Our competition used to be those eight listings. There used to be eight different businesses there. It's now just us. So we get 100% of the traffic and it's free. So can we do it for a local business? Yes, we can. This is a client of ours who's a local caterer. So you go search for him at catering and he is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, eight out of 10. Number one used to be Wegmans. 
Number two used to be Chevetta's. He's getting phone, he got phone calls from both of them going, what the heck did you do to us? And who, who did you, how did you do it? He said, well, I can't give him my firm because then you'll try and hire him. <laughs> so we have an exclusivity agreement with all of our clients. We only take one business category per geographic territory. I can't have two caterers in Buffalo because then they'll each have half of the first page and they'll be fighting it out. So we can only take one. I can only have one florist because it wouldn't work as well. They'd get half the results and I'd be writing refund checks. That makes sense? So that is why we only accept 34% of clients who want to work with us. Because if we've already got someone in your category, we can't help you. Because our method just won't work. So what you're going to do next is if you want to learn more, you're going to go to doubleyoursalesinc.com. You'll see a video of me. And then there'll be a form at the bottom asking for your name, email, and cell phone. You'll hit submit. It will give you a free video series that shows you the 133 steps we do in 12 months to double your sales. Then you can decide, you're crazy, I don't need all that. Or you can say, where have you been all my life? You'll also see our marketing automation in action because it'll be emailing you at the videos. Um, you, can, you will watch the free, free video series. I will also give you a shameless bribe. Um, we sell this on our report on our website for $24.95. 17 guaranteed, seven guaranteed ways to make new customers appear like magic. And if you trade me your business card, I'll give you a copy of it. But we're not going to make a beeline for this and run over Frank. It'll be back by the camera so we don't cause a traffic jam. And hopefully I brought enough for everybody who wants one. Um, I'm going to open it up for Q&A in a minute. Um, but what other people say about you is 300% more powerful than anything you say about yourself. So one of my clients is here tonight. Um, his name is Gary Okino, and he's the only golf court, only golf instructor I know who guarantees you lower scores. So I'm going to ask Gary to talk for just a minute or two about what we've done for him, and then I'll take questions if that's okay. Can we pass this to Gary? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you. Um, I am with Gary Okino Golf, Indira Golf, Samurai Golf Swing, etc. Dot com. Yes. And you may say, well, that's a lot. Well, we have an internet presence nationally, a presence locally, and then somewhere in between, and maybe internationally eventually. And the long and short of it is, um, I've always had good ability as a teacher, but I've always fallen short on the income side and on the business side. And always kind of at the end of the year go, why am I short to pay my bills? Well, Seth came along for me, or I pretty much begged him, and um, has pretty much changed things for me. And it's mostly been done through social media in, I would say, pretty cost-effective ways. Um, and the results have been incredible. Uh, we're still working a lot of the Gary Okino golf sites, so if you went there right now, it probably wouldn't be the absolute best example, but Samurai Golf Swing is, and like in like one week maybe, less than a week actually, while he was on baby duty at home, um, we went from being a non-built site to being number one, two, four, five, and seven on Google. Like, bang. I uh, just took some existing videos I had. Results not typical, one week my lawyers will tell you, not normal, past performance, <laughs> no indication of future success. And, and it was pretty cool, and then with a very, um, not a lot of Facebook ad dollars. He also had uh, opt-ins coming in. For those of you who don't know what an opt-in is, it's what Seth talked about when someone gives you their name, email, and cell phone number and opts in, so then you can then market to them and give them more education, more of what you're about so they can make an educated decision on you. Uh, we had them pouring in, and I was, it was pretty cool because I did. Yeah, I think you spent like 100 bucks. Yeah, yes, and it was pretty cool. So uh, just a plug for Seth and a thank you because I uh, now have some freedom and some ability to pay my bills. As a, and if you think about it as a golf pro in Buffalo, a teaching pro, it's not that easy. I don't have a salary. Uh, what I get, it comes from you know, good marketing and good good results. So GaryOkinoGolf.com and SamuraiGolfStream.com and IndiaGolf.com. Thank you. Just be loud. Uh, one of the things that I do appreciate about Seth, and I encourage you all to investigate and explore because we have worked with other marketers to no avail, is um, 
different strategies. There's not just one strategy being implemented. I have a few different companies that I've indicated. He has different strategies going for each one in different ways and different styles. And then if it doesn't work, you can test it, which is huge because you're finding what the market wants for you as opposed to what you think you want for the market, which is a big difference for me. So lots of different ways to go about things, which I appreciate very much. Thanks for the shameless testimony. <laughs> I did not pay Gary to come and say that. Uh, so that's the short version of the hour and a half presentation at this point. Um, questions? First time. Ah, there we go. Bill. Uh, how much does it cost? <laughs> how much does it cost? <laughs> okay, so we build an automated perpetual marketing funnel with 133 steps in it over 12 months. Not every business can afford that. So what happens is we go, you can go a la carte. So for example, um, we can start with just your Facebook page, just a Facebook app, or just a new website, or just one campaign. And what happens is it's my goal to be marketing crack, for lack of a better term. I want to get you hooked. So you do something, you see the results, and then you go, I need another fix, I need another fix. And you go, how can I come up with ways to get Seth for more money this month? Um, so the entire funnel, which has a double your sales guarantee on it, um, we take an upfront fee, and then we take a small, depending on the industry, a small percentage of the sales that we generate because we can track every penny. So our real incentive, we actually lose money on the upfront fee. Our real back end is in the cut of the sales that we drive for you. So if we're not selling anything next month, Gary's not paying me. Um, so we only work, we get paid for results. And it's because of that that we make pretty damn sure that we can honor that guarantee and we've never had to cut that refund check because my wife would be really pissed. How long is that? Um, the upfront fee is once. Um, the small percentage is forever because if you want us to keep working and selling stuff for you, selling houses for you, we're gonna keep getting paid on that. If you stop paying us, we stop working. Because you wouldn't show, you wouldn't list a house and sell it for free, you want your commission, right? Yes, very much so, okay. So the price ranges depending on how much of the funnel you want. Usually we come up with a custom proposal because every business's needs and budget are different. Do you develop new websites? We, I, what we have found in the last six years is depending on the site you've got, it is much easier to rank a new site faster if we build it than to make your old site just show up higher. So for example, I use Gary because he's here. IndiaGolf.com was the site another firm built and they were not happy with the results they were getting. We made one simple change to his site. Uh, so his site was very busy and he had a newsletter signup form that was like over here in a small box. We put it front and center, made it really big, really ugly with a big offer as opposed to just sign up for our newsletter and ran it on our marketing automation software. And Gary is now getting opt-ins every single day. Um, that didn't make the site rank any higher, it just made the existing site a whole lot more profitable. SamuraiGolfSwing.com we built from scratch. In Dare Golf, I have no idea where it's even ranked on Google, if you could even find it without typing it in. Samurai Golf Swing, Gary told you, has like five or six listings on the first page, and I did that in four hours at two in the morning in between baby feedings. Um, but again, results not typical. My lawyers will tell me to tell you it can take up to 90 days for Google to index something. Um, my best case study is we took a financial planner in Virginia who was 158th on Google, page 16. His mother couldn't find his site. Um, and he is now number one in seven different categories and is actually getting clients from his site when he, before, no one could find it. Yeah, but we don't charge for hosting, we don't charge for domain names, we're not like a lot of web companies that are wanting to nickel and dime you. We don't charge that stuff because I don't think you should have to pay it. Because again, we're based on driving sales. I don't care how many impressions your site gets, I don't care how many hits you get, I care how much money got in your pocket because I want a cut of it. Yes? Not your existing customers, just new people we get for you. Keep coming back, which yeah. is your goal. Right. Yes, because what we're going to do is we're going to do ongoing marketing to those customers to get them to come back. So if they come back because of something we did, yes, we get paid on it. If they come back because of something you did, I don't want any money of that. And how do you 
Our marketing automation software literally tracks every behavior they do or don't do. So I can tell how they showed up today, if they showed up because of me or you. For example, um, if we sent them a, uh, use Bob as an example, come in, check in on Foursquare, and tonight you get a free beer. Um, I can see who checked in because of what I said, what we did, and then we get a cut of that. If someone just came in, didn't check in, all the people who are sitting there right now aren't here because of me. I don't get a piece of that. So we can track with coupon codes or QR codes or cookies on their website. This is something that I love that's really sneaky. It's called retargeting. So let's say you went to my website, this might hypothetically happen, and you didn't register for the free video series. And you went to some other website after that. Not marketing, just you went to CNN.com. Magically, my ad to drive you back is gonna show up on CNN. And I'm not gonna have to pay CNN any money. It's called retargeting, and it allows me, because I put a cookie on your computer, to follow you wherever you go on the internet and try and drive you back. Again, father, very scary. Marketer, live on it. There is no privacy anymore. I can go tell you the last hundred websites you visited, how long you were there, what pages you went to, and then sell you ads based on what you did or didn't do. So we can, you can't hide from us. <laughs> Unless you have a tech degree in getting out of it, not getting out of it. Did that sort of answer your question? Why do they call them cookies? Um, because it was a little bit of code that goes on your computer and it's a bite-sized chunk. I wish I had a better explanation. That's honestly why they call them cookies. Because your computer might notice if I put three pages of code on it, but a little cookie it doesn't see. You have to work really hard to turn those off. Are you standing because I'm done? Yeah, I was just gonna say, as a process, just the set will not be running out the door. No, I'll be running to the back of the room where I will have a box of these if you want to trade me your business card for one. Very good. And you can use the ideas in here without even hiring us and go get results and then afford us. Very good, thank you so much. Having us, do you need the mic or are there any more WBA announcements? Everybody uh, enjoy and please do make sure we receive okay. your business cards so we know who is there today. Thanks, everybody. Yes, I'm going to sneak to the back. Enjoy. No need to rush out. I'm sneaking to the back. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to the bar. Why don't you have everybody in the zoo some stuff? Thank you.